Lug Alta, with regards to defenses. Starting with a sword in one hand. Again, this is not the usual side to be attacking this on, but we still, need to know how, we still need to know how to deal with these attacks, because they will happen, especially if we, they are starting to our outside. Maybe they're an iron gate, for example. So first up, we're going to use Testa. It's kind of essentially raising our hand into it, almost via uh, Ridopio, but not quite. And then depending what side of the sword I end up on, or whether I have control of the set or not, I'll cut a thrust. We can use Entrare, which is frankly the preferred option here if we uh, are ready for it. And then we can also just get our body out of the way and strike as we see fit. So option one is essentially we are getting the sword out there and making contact. If I end up to the outside, we turn that into a thrust. Do it again. So we have go into it and thrust if we end up, end up to the outside. But it's pretty likely given the, tra tra given the trajectory of their attack that we will have to yield, cut, and cut. Where they throw themselves into the head. It is far preferable to, if we have the time, extend and thrust to the ch chest or face. And then finally, we can kind of suck the attack in by giving the look of a defense and following up with whatever is appropriate. If instead it is an attack to the leg, our response is to get the leg out of the way and let them walk, run, jump onto our point. So we will reach out to Entrare to seek contact. We feel nothing. We pull the leg out of the way and they hit themselves. Sword and dagger. We can use the dagger to parry here, so we're actually going to go towards the attack this way, which we did not do with Sword and Dagger in Kodong so it's a little bit different, and we want to thrust to the chest or cut to their thigh. So the tricky thing here is that I'm stepping across this way, but I'm not crossing my hands, so I'm not doing this. I'm still in this configuration. I'm just stepping on an angle. So we're here. We'll really reach in and either cut or thrust to the leg. And of course we want to get out of there immediately so we go to the next uh, the next guard transition. We can of course use Entrave, which again is the best option here. Because nobody should be attacking us to a closed side. If they went to the leg, so the four, we will use Entrare, we feel nothing, pull the leg back, or we can also step to the side and throw a reverso to the arm as we're doing that. So kind of getting out of the way this way. Finally, pick up the cloak. We will also use the cloak to defend and use the same Putraversa or Tondo to the leg, and we can also use the test of defense. So we are here, we're going to step across, striking to their chest or cutting to their leg, and then get out. Or we could simply use Testa, just kind of going into it. And again, depending on what I have here from the outside, I'm in a good position. We turn that to a thrust, cloak is supporting, or we cut to the leg with a mandrito, because the head will be likely unavailable. So we come up and go low. Finally, if they go for the leg, we will use the redopio, or we will strike as we're stepping to the side. So one, we will defend and strike, and we will, as an alternative, strike to the head as we're stepping 
to their left. Uh, could we do the thrust of the chest? Of course. So we jump to the Ferrari, we come out there. That is also there, but it doesn't specifically mention it here. So that's the Riversi Porco Lunga Alta. Uh, 